Hi guys, good day. It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today is all about the SSS congruence postulate or the SSS postulate. And we are dealing with the two column proof. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now before answering our first example, we need to define first what we mean by the SSS postulate. So the SSS postulate states, if the three sides of one triangle are congruent to the other three sides of another triangle, then the two triangles are congruent. So let me explain that to you. So what if we have a first triangle? What if we have a triangle ABC? Right? We have triangle ABC. And we draw another triangle. Okay, let's label this one as DEF. Alright, so we have triangle ABC and triangle DEF. And we need to prove that if these two triangles are congruent. Now, what if we say that AB... Okay, or AC, this side is congruent to DF. Okay, AC is congruent to DF. And AB, this side AB, is congruent to DE. Okay, and BC is congruent to EF. So BC is congruent, this side is congruent to EF or FE. So we have side, so once again class SSS, it's side, side, side postulate. Side and side, 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 side. So if, once again, the definition, if the three sides of this first triangle is the same or are congruent to the other three sides of this other triangle, therefore, these two triangles are congruent. So AC is congruent to DF, AB is congruent to DE, and EF is congruent to BC. So therefore, we can say that triangle, we can we can write this one as triangle A, ABC. So ABC is congruent. So once again, class, when you read the triangles, it should be symmetrical to the other one. What do you mean by that, sir? It should be the same. So if you read it ABC, the other triangle, you also read that at DEF. Okay? That would be, it should be symmetrical. ABC the other one is D E F D E F. So that's it. It's it's according to the side 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 postulate. Three triangles are congruent, so therefore all parts of these triangles are congruent. So A B C triangle A B C is congruent to triangle D E F. Now let's write another, let's write this example for us to really understand this one. So example one given A D is congruent to A B. So A D is congruent to A B. So this side. Okay, so this side is congruent to AB. So AD is congruent to AB. And DC is congruent to BC. DC is congruent. This, this side is congruent to this side. So AD is congruent to AB. And DC is congruent to BC. So the first thing that you need to do, class, if... if answering this two column proof you always write the given okay always write the given so we have the given so let me write the given so we have ad line ad is congruent to line ab so of course our reason there is the given all right so what else we have another given we have dc is congruent to BC and we are we already labeled this one on our illustration that DC is congruent to BC so another given so we all we already have two sides so what else class what else can you see there so what else can you see with the third side yes that's correct with regards to AC okay look at the triangle A so we need to prove that ADC this triangle ADC is congruent to triangle ABC. So check the triangle class. If you break down this triangle into two, okay, this will be, okay, let me just erase this one for you to understand this one. If we write the triangle ABC, if we split up this triangle A, ADC, and ABC, so this will be the, uh, the scenario. So if we split up this one, so this will be the, tri the first triangle ADC, and we have another triangle which is A, B, C. So could you check class? 
check the triangles if you split up this one so they both share this line AC okay they both share this common side which is AC so we, we can say that AC that AC okay AC let me just write it in blue you can say that AC is congruent to AC so line AC is congruent to line AC and your reason for that class once they share both sides we can call it reflexive property okay do not forget about it once they share both sides same sides we can call that as reflexive property so this our reason for this is reflexive property all right so this side is congruent to this side ac they both share this side which is ac so we already have three sides now are congruent this ad ab bc dc and this ac so therefore since we already have three sides which are congruent so therefore we can say that triangle okay triangle a d c is congruent to triangle a b c and your reason there is about SSS postulate. So SSS postulate. So once again, when can you say that the, it is SSS postulate? If the three sides of one triangle is the same with the other triangle. Okay, so SSS postulate. So that's it. That's how you answer the two column. Very easy, right? So let's try another example. Let's try last example for us to understand this one. So let's try last example last example that we have so given ad so we have a triangle given ad okay ad is congruent to cd so ad is congruent to cd and b is the midpoint of ac so this b right here is the midpoint of this line ac and we need to prove that triangle abd is congruent to triangle cbd all right so once again when answering this two column proof you always write the given so we write the given so this AD, given AD, line AD, is congruent to line CD. So given, and we have another given, B is the midpoint of AC. So B is the midpoint, okay, mid, I don't have enough space, midpoint of AC. B is the midpoint of AC, so that would be our given. So let me just label this one. AD is the midpoint of CD. So this side, I uh, know AD is congruent to CD. So AD, this side AD is congruent to this side CD. So therefore, we already have one side which are equal. So we have this side AD is congruent to line CD or this side CD. And since we know that B is the midpoint of this line AC, so therefore we can say that AB, this side AB, is congruent to this side CB. Why is that, sir? Because if we draw this line AC, okay, if we draw this line AC and we say on the given that B is the midpoint of this side AC, of this line AC, so we put B here, if we put B on the mid, in the middle part, so why is it in the middle part? Because B is the midpoint, midpoint of this line AC. So since B is the midpoint, so we can say that this side will be congruent to this side. Because B is the midpoint of AC. So we can say that AB, the side AB is congruent to, once again, AB, you're, on the other one, you write it CB. Okay, it should be symmetrical. AB, on the other side, it should be CB. CB. AB is congruent to side CB. And your reason there is definition of midpoint. So definition of midpoint. Once that is the midpoint, so the two sides are equal. So definition, I will just write it def, def because I don't have enough space. Definition of midpoint. Alright, so we do have two sides now which are equal. So we have ADDC and ABBC. What else, class? What else can you see? That's correct. They both share same side which is BD. This one, BD. So they both share this side, BD. Okay? 
So we can say that BD is congruent to side BD is congruent to side BD. And once again, if they both share same sides, we can call it reflexive property. Reflexive, I will just put reflexive okay, property. Right? Reflexive property. And since we already have three sides which are congruent, so we already have AD, DC, AB, BC, and this side, DB, DB. So they both share this side, DB or BD. So therefore, we can say since we already have three sides which are congruent according to our SSS postulate, if three sides of one triangle are congruent to so the other three sides, so therefore, these two triangles are congruent. So we, we can say that triangle... A, B, D is congruent to, so we have A, B, D. On the other side, it should be C, B, D. Triangle C, B, D. And our reason there is S, S, S postulate. Alright, so that's it, class. That's how you answer S, S, S postulate with regards to two-column proof. And I hope you learned something new today. If you like this video, do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends, class, to your classmates, so that we can help them. And if you have some questions, go ahead. If you have some questions, if you're confused with the SSS postulate, go ahead. If you have some questions there, go ahead. You, we put a comment okay, down below so that we can answer that one. So we can answer that one. Once again, this is Teacher MJ, and you have a great day. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.